Are you switching from Premiere Pro to Final Cut? Are you a little bit confused because it's completely different? Well, this video is for you because I'm gonna give you a really easy and simple way to migrate from Premiere Pro to Final Cut Pro. Hey guys, welcome back to That Modern Dude, your home for tech and modern lifestyle videos. And, and today we're doing a bit of a tutorial because it was something that I was looking for last year when I switched to Final Cut Pro. And so I figured I couldn't find one then, so I'm gonna do one now. So a lot of people tend to switch to Final Cut Pro when they're on a MacBook purely because of the speed and the optimization. I'm not gonna go into the pros and cons of each software, but let's just assume you're a Premiere Pro user or even another video editing software user and you're switching to Final Cut. You're gonna notice a few things. Things. And the biggest one is that Final Cut uses some weird terminology for certain aspects. So in Premiere Pro, if you want to start a new video, it's really easy. You create a new project and in that project, you import all your footage and then create a new sequence, edit in that sequence, export and done. In Final Cut Pro, it's a little bit different. So let's get the terminology done with out of the way so you can easily line it up and then I'll quickly show you an easy way to do it in the software. All right, so in Premiere Pro, you have your project. The equivalent to that in Final Cut Pro is library. Final Cut gets a little bit more in depth because in that library, you have what's called an event. Consider the event like a subfolder. All right, it's really good for large projects, but if you're just creating YouTube videos or short videos, pretty much ignore it. You know, you don't even have to name it really. I don't, I tend to leave it as the date. In the event folder, however, is your project. All right, this is where it gets confusing. So in Final Cut, your project is your sequence. So here's a little nice diagram that I drew up that explains that. Once you've realized that, everything's super easy. So let's show you in Final Cut Pro what this exactly is. So you open up Final Cut Pro and if, you know, and this is what you're gonna be open with, all right? So it's gonna create a library, which is this one here by default. And in that we'll create an event by default. So if you're just starting, you can just use this one. So we can name this, let's say, test project, no worries. And like I said, with the event, you can name it, but you don't have to name it. Let's just, for argument's sake, name it test project as well. Now it does, like I said, this is really good for large projects. So like weddings or short films, but for small videos, don't worry about it. Seriously, just, it'll confuse you otherwise. Now in there, you obviously already have your import media. All right, so you click that and, you know, let's find some footage. All right, we got some footage from a video I did yesterday. That's fine, we'll just import that. And as you can see, that's imported your footage. And this is exactly like in Premiere. Now you can set your in and out points and drag it. And you notice it says new project. And in Premiere Pro, that would be new sequence. So that's fine. Click on new project. This is where you want to name it. I like to name it very specifically as to what I'd probably title it when uploading to YouTube because when you share it to YouTube, it'll take that title and automatically do it for you. So let's just call this test project. Now, of course, you can change all the settings here if you want to, custom and all that. Automatic settings will base it off of the first clip you upload, but you know, whatever. And you go, okay. Now you've got your timeline down below. You have your project or sequence, and then you can just drag your clips in and that's where you can start, you know, editing away and it's super simple. So this is obviously one we just created. So I'll open up a one from yesterday. This is a video I uploaded a few days ago. And you can see if we close the test project, we have the a review I did. And as you can see, we have an event here. I called it drone. I'm not quite sure why I called it drone. I was in a drone mood. And then you have your project and all the footage is in there like that. And hopefully that's relatively straightforward. Something I like to do if I'm finished editing a project and I've uploaded it to YouTube or I've exported it and I don't really feel the need to go back onto it again. I like to, before closing Final Cut Pro, is close the library. The reason being is every time you exit out of when you quit Final Cut Pro and reopen it, it will open the last library you're editing in. So if I didn't close that library, it would automatically load and I would have to close it again and all that. This way, when I open Final Cut Pro, it's gonna actually ask me, you know, what would I like to open? 
So this is exactly how Premiere opens when you open it for the first time. It's gonna ask you to, whether or not you wanna open an old project or, or create a new one. And this is where, you know, I can hit new project and start from scratch. So that's a really simple video, guys. Hopefully you found it relatively informative. I try to keep it as straightforward as possible. Switching to Final Cut Pro can be a little bit daunting at first, but once you have switched, I'm sure you'll love it. If you enjoyed this video, guys, subscribe down below. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.